Hey, welcome to Miss Download. I'm Cheryl Poirier. More and more now, when I visit certain websites, I find that I need a password to get into some pages of the site, sometimes to visit the entire site. I wondered why this would be the case and went on a mission to find out. What I found out was it's a really good idea to password protect some pages of websites. Most sites will password protect pages that contain personal information or any page where you as a user are asked for personal information. I also came across a kids camp that password protects any and all pages that show pictures of campers who are minors. That never occurred to me. People are also password protecting their blogs to protect from plagiarism. So having my own website, I started to consider finding a program that would password protect some of the pages. The easiest program I found was HTML Password Wizard. This program password protects HTML pages, web pages, or whole websites in just minutes, well, seconds, actually. In a few little steps, pages and files are secured. It has a user-friendly interface that looks like this, very user-friendly. In order to pr protect uh, files, click Add Files, and it will bring up a dialog box and that allows you to select whatever file you wish. I am going to select this one right here. We're going to open that. And that pops up in my list. Once you've selected, click on password. Here you can allow for one user or multiple users as most websites have. Uh, the, the default password is actually default, so I changed it to something that I can remember. Stargate. <laughs> Next uh, step is login. This refers to how often the user actually has to log in. Default setting is every time the browser closes. When you reopen it, you have to log in again. That's normal. We'll just leave it there. From here, you can also select how you want the user to be notified of an incorrect password by text or by redirecting to another URL. I've just got uh, a text here, invalid password. Uh, then go to template, and this is what it'll look like, the login will look like. This is a lavender blue, we've got white or a simple one, sky blue. We're just going to stick with a lavender blue. It totally works. Next, select protect and choose your char set. Now if you have no idea what this is, because I didn't, just select the default. But a quick tutorial on char sets. Char set is short form for character set. Makes sense. In this case, if you're using a different language to protect your pages, you would need to choose a different char set or character set, which completely makes sense. Once that's done, click on the protect icon on the toolbar and the program starts to protect your files. That's it. So now that we've done that, let's see if it works. I am actually going to go and open up this website. <gasps> Look, I can't get into the website unless I type in my password. There it is. <laughs> See? Easy peasy. HTML Password Wizard is $49.95 in US, but you can have it forever to use on all your current and future websites. Protect yourself and protect the people who use your sites. It's a really good idea. I'm Cheryl Poray. This has been Miss Download. Head on over to butterscotch.com and check out all those other cool shows that I've done in the past year.